you want to play your Sega games and connect it to a modern TV, you're in big trouble. Or are you? If you've got a Sega that looks like this, without the dust, ah, get out of it, with a connection hole that looks like this, then you can get one of these. It's an AV cable specifically for the Sega. Put that into eBay or another site. I only paid about five pounds for this. It's got the same end there that you can't see. The AV colored bits. And then all you've got to do is, then all you've got to do, I'm not in shot, hang on. That's terrifying. Ugh. Then all you've got to do is put these in the correct colored slot. So yellow, white, and red. Not particularly helpful if you're colour blind. Just keep doing the combinations till it works, I guess. And then plug it into the back of your Sega, but that's pretty obvious because I wasn't going to plug it into the back of a Hoover or something. Ah, that correct? Yes, nice fit. Then you just need your TV set to AV. That's a nice rhyme. Press power, and away you go. See, it goes black. Now I just need to put in a game. Then all you do is pop in your Sega game, and away you go! Ha! Check it out. That hasn't done it, has it? Damn you! It does work! Hang on. And all people are like going, don't blow the cartridge! All the nerds are saying, oh, you're getting particles in the cartridge! Oh, I've always done it like that. Doesn't matter. It works, and here you go! That hasn't happened either. Right. More harmonica, oh no, the particles, oh no, that's why your cartridge doesn't work in the first place. Ha, worked, mended, Jaeger, you're welcome.